In this video, we bring you the solutions to one of the most common issues for this device Note 10 Signal Issues. If you're one of the unlucky owners of this amazing device that experiences signal issues, don't worry as we will make sure that you'll have a working phone after watching this video. First, Reboot Device. Rebooting can benefit your phone in a lot of ways. If you haven't tried this yet make sure that this is the very first thing that you do at this point. Network problems usually go away on their own but some may be shaken off faster with a restart. Try restarting it normally first by pressing the power button to access the boot menu. Then select restart option and see if that works. Another way to restart the device is by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds or until the device's screen turns on. This simulates the effect of having disconnected the battery from the device. If this works this may unlock the device. Next, Force Quit SIM Toolkit App. Some forms of network problems are caused by a corrupted or malfunctioning SIM Toolkit app also known as SIM Ability Kit if you're running Android 10. To ensure that your Note 10 SIM Toolkit is in top shape you can try force closing the app first. Next, Clear SIM Toolkit App Cache and Data Clearing an app's cache can sometimes fix an app malfunction. A more effective way to fix app-related issues is to return its settings to defaults. You can do that by clearing the app's data. Note, there are times that options are grayed out if so, then skip this step. Next, reset network settings. Sometimes all it takes to fix a network problem is to just reset the current network configuration. If you haven't tried this yet at this point make sure to do so. Next, install updates. Some forms of network problems are caused by poor coding from a carrier's side. This means that the device is having a problem because a programming problem has not been fixed and it's causing Android and the hardware to not work optimally. When detected, carriers will work on a fix and this fix is usually rolled out via updates. Make sure that you install whatever update there is to install a possible fix. Next, turn off roaming. You are not in your home country and mobile data not working on your Galaxy Note 10, roaming may be to blame. You usually need to enable roaming feature in your account first before leaving your home country so you can continue using network services normally abroad. Exact procedures on how roaming is activated varies by carrier so be sure to contact your network operator for accurate information. Next, change network mode. Switching from a network mode sometimes help make sure to do so. Next, manually disconnect from network. At other times manually releasing a device from a network's coverage temporarily can fix network problems. If you haven't tried doing this as of this point make sure to do it this time. Next, check for bad app. If you continue to experience signal issues on your Galaxy Note 10 to try is check for possible bad app. The best way to easily do this is by restarting your Note 10 to safe mode. This software environment is usually used by technicians to check exactly what we're trying to do.
Next, refresh system cache. Some network issues are brought about by a corrupted system cache. If this happens, it usually follows a major software overhaul like after a system update. To ensure that the system cache's top shape, try to clear the cache partition. Lastly, factory reset. In most cases, network problems are fixable on a user's level. If you've already followed everything in this video and your Note 10 still encounters signal issue, consider wiping its software with factory reset. Factory reset is often effective in resolving issues coming from software problems. If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots but settings menu is inaccessible this method can be helpful. First you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery, that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery so be patient and simply try again. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.